Hey there, today I want to show you the limits of MongoDB and Realm Sync. So here we can see that the app and the MongoDB database are pretty synchronous. But what if we speed up the game a bit and write the score on every wink? Well, the score on MongoDB is not updating synchronous to our app. But if you close the app and restart it, the score is synchronized to the MongoDB. So be aware, you can't really use it for live updates. But in the end, it's a safe and secure way to store your data online. So another limitation I want to show you is your data structure. Here we have an array in an array with an object. And this object has a sub-object with some fields. So if I try to generate our schema for this object, the generation will fail. Or to be more precise, it isn't the right output, so you will have to define the schema yourself or change your structure. So let's change our structure, but this time I will go for a very long field name. So let's generate the schema for this. At first glance, it looks pretty good. So deploy and save. Now we can go to our Realm SDK. Here we now have a new object, user address, with our very long field name. So let me quick create these classes in Unity. So we now have our updated game user and our new object game user address, which is an embedded object. So everything looks fine until we start a game. There is now an error. This one comes from the Realm Sync SDK and tells us that one column name is too long. So there is a limitation of field name length. I don't know where the breakpoint is here, but maybe you will come along in your project. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I'll see you in the next.